Give me a pump and I'm a happy camper. All right, so today it's Foundation Friday. This is where I try out a new foundation every single Friday on my channel. I have them all in a playlist down below. But today we're trying out one from Ulta, which I was really curious about. This only had, I think, seven reviews. I haven't heard anything about this. So it's the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage HD Liquid Foundation. Ulta's in-house brand for me has been a little bit hit or miss. There are a couple products I really like and a lot of products I don't like, so it just kind of depends. I think I have a couple other foundation reviews from their brand. This retails for 14 bucks. It has one fluid ounce of product in it and and it comes in 10 shades. I have the lightest shade, which is light cool. There's not a whole lot of info on here, but it just says it'll leave your skin appearing naturally flawless. Perfect choice for an Instagram worthy picture. Spherical powders help to create a soft focus finish and a smooth, even complexion. It says it's full coverage, it's vegan. Finish on here just says natural finish. So I'm gonna insert swatches right here so you can see what the lightest shade looks like compared to some of my other foundations. All right, so here are a few swatches. Right here's the old foundation in the lightest shade, light cool. Next over is CYO Life Proof in 101. I should probably switch nails here. Let me give you my fourth finger. <laughs> that one's like totally chipped. Oh, that's kind of hard. NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in Mont Blanc. Marc Jacobs Remarkable in 10. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus in 15. Pure Cosmetics Baradol Foundation in Porcelain. If you're excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. sip time. Here we go, Ulta HD Full Coverage Liquid Foundation. All right, so it's about 9.15 in the morning. I've been trying to start filming this for like 10 minutes and I've had the hiccups this entire time, so. Hopefully they're staying away now. I like that this has a pump and it's a squeeze tube, good packaging to travel with, easy to get out, can't really complain. Looks pretty thick on the back of this palette, it's not really moving around. I'm gonna start out with a sponge on this side of my face. I've already washed, moisturized, prepped my skin like I usually do, and everything I use will be down below. Doesn't seem to have a scent at all, and it did say it's fragrance free. I like that because fragrance can irritate your skin. And it's just unnecessary. Like, why do we have to put fragrance in our foundations? The shade is looking like a pretty good match with the sponge. It's sitting on my skin pretty nice. It does look almost like soft focus. Is that a black? What is that? <laughs> Please hold. I have a black hair on my face. Like, where do those come from? It's looking really nice and smooth. It does look like a true satin finish. I don't know what's happening right here. I think for some reason I have a major crease right there. I think it might just be my face though. I don't know if I like slept on it weird or something. It feels pretty lightweight, easy to blend out. I would say this is pretty much low full coverage right now. It's looking really nice on the center of my forehead. Ooh, this one's promising. Okay, I'm gonna go with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush on the other side. Really need to wash my brushes right now. Someone commented the other day saying that every time I wash my brushes, I have to tell you guys. And it's so true. Washing brushes is a accomplishment you know what I'm saying when you deep clean like 40 brushes you deserve an award it still looks pretty nice and smooth on the brush side but I feel like I'm getting about the same coverage this side does look a little bit more skin like it almost looks more yellow when it first goes on I don't know if you guys can tell on camera and then it kind of turns a little bit more pink or something so this one it doesn't look bad with a brush but I definitely prefer the sponge side it just looks a little bit more flattering I'm gonna go in with just a tiny bit I kind of want to see if I can build this up not using a lot of product at all. And I'm just gonna smooth everything out with the sponge. Yeah, sponge is the way to go with this one. You get about the same coverage. It just gives it a really pretty finish. I would say it's about half a shade dark. Ooh, it's looking good on my forehead. Here's what I'm talking about where it kind of creased right there. Don't know why. Again, I think it's just my face, but here's the finish and everything it looks nice. I do still think that this side, the sponge side looks a bit better, but look at my forehead. My forehead looks pretty damn good. I would say this is a true satin matte finish and I do agree with the fact that it says it's soft focus. It is one of those matte foundations which is almost a little bit blurring. If I'm going for a matte foundation, that's what I go for. If you want to know my favorite kind of matte oil controlling foundations, back when I had oily skin, I just did a video on it for last week's Foundation Friday. I like the coverage, I like the shade. Right now I'm, I'm feeling this one, so we'll see how it wears, but it's 9.25 now. Did that pretty quick. I'm really tempted to spray setting spray because I feel like that would just take it to the next level with this one, but I won't. Oh heck yeah, and it also feels like it's setting. So yeah, you could totally blend stuff on top of this. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So right now it's 9.55, we're gonna call the check-in time 9.30. I did not have to set my face, which 
I love everything blended out super easily on top of here. One thing I've noticed as this has been on my face for a little bit longer is that it is starting to look a little bit more makeup-y. I can definitely see it more on my forehead now and around my pore area, kind of just everywhere. It just looks a little bit more makeup-y. doesn't look quite as like soft focus anymore. I don't think it looks bad right now. I'm just hoping it doesn't start to look worse throughout the day and kind of crease because I'm already getting some creasing around my mouth area right here and a little bit on my upper lip actually already. Right now, I'm liking it. I'm not... As in love with it as I was a half hour ago just because of how it's changed but it looks pretty nice still just overall looks a little bit more like makeup sitting on top of my face than it did before so on the rest of my face let me tell you I used the physicians formula butter collection for the first time today I've been so excited to try this this is limited edition what is this I think this is around 10 bucks or something let me actually look this up so this is about 12 bucks depending on where you get it and all I'm wearing on my face today is this guy so Blush Bronzer Highlight is from here. I went in with this shade. This actually was a little bit too dark and a little bit too yellowy gold for my skin tone, so I just added a tiny bit of this other Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. This is in the shade Pink Rose. Love this blush shade. You guys know I love this bronzer. Just went in with this on the crease of my eyes and then this on the lid and inner corner. And then this perfume, I don't know how this is 12 bucks. Normally one of these pans is around like, what, 14 bucks when it's not on sale. This is like, that scent on crack. It smells so freaking good. This smells like it could be a Victoria's Secret perfume. It has that really like warm vanilla-y scent, but still a little bit coconutty and beachy. My usual mascaras, which are down below. And then for lips, all I did was put on some lip gloss. This is the MUA lip gloss in Baby Pink, one of my favorite shades of all time. I didn't put on a lip liner or anything, just wanted to keep the lips a little bit more natural looking. That is, that's everything. That was hard to come out. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like in natural lighting and then we'll do a flash test. All right, so I'm in natural lighting right now. Here's what we're looking like. I'm gonna zoom in. So I'm getting some creasing, especially in this area already. And my pores are looking a little bit intense around here, but pore filling primer could help with that. I just feel like in certain areas it is looking a little bit creasy it just looked a bit better half hour ago oh okay right here you can kind of actually see the shade better so i do think it is about half a shade too dark you can see the line right here a little bit okay that picture is horrible it looks like i have a bob or something there's definitely flashback on this one because my body looks hella tan and my face looks hella white but it does look very soft focus. It looks very smoothing and flash. So the finish of it looks really flattering. I'll see you guys in a few hours for the next check-in in natural lighting. Okay, so it's three o'clock. How long has this been on? When did I put it on? It's been on for about five and a half hours now. So my face has been quite itchy. Sorry, there's like a lawnmower or something outside right now. But my face has been pretty itchy the past, I would say, three hours really. I didn't notice it for the first couple hours. I don't know if it's just because I started using a retinol, but I started last week and every other foundation has been fine. So I don't know, but my face is feeling pretty burny, especially around here and on my forehead. To me, it looks pretty much the exact same as before, maybe slightly more satin on my forehead. I wouldn't really call it dewy, but it does look a little bit more satin, which I like. Again, I don't think it necessarily looks bad. I think I just got a little bit too wowed and excited at the beginning, and then it just kind of got a little bit worse. So same exact thing, but here is what it's looking like. At this point, I think I would wear this one again, but I would mix in just a tiny bit of like CYO Life Proof probably to lighten it a little bit and then also to make it a little bit more smoothing just in like the certain areas where it's starting to look a little bit makeup-y. So that's what I'd probably do if I wore the skin and definitely a setting spray. So three right now, I'm gonna try and keep this on a little bit longer and just, you know, fan the face. <laughs> Hope the burning goes down a little bit. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so it's almost six o'clock, so it's been on for about eight and a half hours, and I can't wait to wash this off my face because my face is still burning. <laughs> doesn't look bad, doesn't look amazing. I really wish it just looked how it looked when I first put it on. It's just kind of settled and gotten a little bit heavier looking, but this might be one that I just need to mix, use a setting spray, so I'm gonna try it out in different ways and see how it works. I'm not like totally ruling it out because there are things that I like about it. I like the coverage, and I do think still it has kind of a soft focus finish, just not on my kind of problem areas, but on the other areas of my face, so that's a plus. It has rubbed off kind of on my hairline up here, but I do think this has stuff about it that I like enough to wear I could maybe potentially find a good combo with this one. 
not bad. I mean, I'm not getting a ton of creasing or separation. It's mostly just this whole area that I don't really like. I think this one some people would like and I think I could probably find a way to make this one work. I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation Friday. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.